Many of the Open 60 racing yachts are fitted with keels that can move from side to side. These are called canting keels and the benefit is that they can trim the boat and make the boat go faster. The keels are pushed from side to side using hydraulics, hydraulic rams that can exert forces up in the regions of 30 tonnes. I have been asked on many occasions by the Open 60 teams, what would they do if they ran out of hydraulic oil? Could they use water or some other fluid stored on the boat? Water is extremely aggressive on hydraulic systems and will damage pumps and valves. But as a halfway mark, it may be possible to use what they call 95-5. That's 5% oil, 95% water in an emulsion. This oil has certain properties that help protect the hydraulic parts. 95-5 emulsion hydraulic fluid is often used in the mining industry but with very specialised system design. Using ordinary gear pumps and standard equipment, it is uh, not recommended. So we're not expecting to get great life using 95.5 with the type of equipment we're using on open 60 racing yachts. However, we are going to try and use this fluid and see how long we can run the system for before it uh, becomes damaged to the point of being useless. Many of the oil companies that I've spoken to will not recommend or talk to me about using 95.5 as a substitute for ISO 32 standard mineral oil in a system. And it's very difficult to find out any information of what will actually happen if we use this fluid uh, as a backup. Is the pump going to last two seconds, two minutes or two hours? At the moment I have filled the system with ISO 32, a standard uh, mineral oil, and we're going to run that up to 200 bar to make sure that all the system is correct. The system I've put together is very simple. You can see from here I've got a high, uh, gear pump directly covered to an electric motor. Up here we have a relief valve and a needle valve. And all I'm going to do is to wind down the needle valve, in other words uh, taking the flow down to zero across the needle valve and all the oil then has to pass across the relief valve creating uh, a pressure of 200 bar. I've got a pressure gauge that's going to read the pressure and here I have a flow meter and uh, that will tell me how much flow I'm getting from my gear pump. So if I start this up now, um, I'm going to run this up to 200 bar just to check that everything is working correctly. see from the flow meter that we've got uh, a flow of about 3 litres per minute and that's fairly steady at the moment. Remember that we're using a standard ISO 32 mineral oil. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to shut this down. We know it's working correctly. I'm going to switch the oil now to a 95.5. So here we have Quintilubric 817-02, which is 95.5 hydraulic fluid. It's an emulsion oil. And what we're going to do is add 300, uh, 300 mils of this to 6 litres of water. This is just ordinary tap water. Can you film that?
now and see how long uh, we can run this pump for at 200 bar. at that. It's dying. It's died already. <laughs> died already. Doesn't want to know. Doesn't want to know at all. That is dead. Right, for those guys who feel like using water in their hydraulic systems, you can see that immediately we have no pressure at all. This seems very disappointing, but at least we know now why water will not work in a hydraulic system. It just bypasses, goes straight through.